Thank you, Madam President. I join others in thanking Under Secretary General Martin Griffiths and UNICEF Executive Director Catherine Russell for their briefings. The worsening situation in Ukraine and ensuing humanitarian crisis deserve our immediate and urgent attention. As per the UN estimates, more than 1.5 million refugees have sought shelter in neighboring countries of Ukraine over the last 11 days. This has led to a pressing humanitarian crisis that ten needs to be addressed expeditiously. Numerous civilian lives have been lost so far, which also includes a young Indian student. India mourns his death, and we convey our deepest condolences to his family, just as we mourn the loss of each and every civilian life in the conflict. India has been consistent in calling for an immediate end to all hostilities. Our Prime Minister once again spoke to the leadership of both sides today and reiterated our call for immediate ceasefire and the need for both parties to return to the path of dialogue and diplomacy. We have also reiterated our urgent demand for safe and uninterrupted passage for all innocent civilians, including Indian nationals remaining in Ukraine. We are deeply concerned that despite our repeated urgings to both sides, the safe corridor for our students stranded in Sumi did not materialize. We have managed to facilitate the safe return of over 20,000 Indians from Ukraine. We have also assisted nationals from other countries who approached us in their return to their respective countries. And we will remain open to doing so in the coming days. More than 80 evacuation flights have been crisscrossing the skies to bring them home. We are appreciative of the assistance rendered by the authorities of Ukraine and its neighboring countries in facilitating their return. We note the joint launch of the flash appeal and the regional refugee response plan by the Secretary General on Ukraine. We hope the international community will respond positively to the humanitarian needs. On its part, India has already sent seven tranches of human supply, human, humanitarian supplies to Ukraine and its neighboring countries. These include medicines, medical equipment, tents, protective eye gear, water storage tanks, solar lamps, amongst other relief material. We are in the process of identifying other such requirements and sending more supplies. Allow me to underscore that it is important that humanitarian action is always guided by the principles of humanitarian assistance, humanity, neutrality, impartiality, and independence. These should not be politicized. I thank you, Madam President. <laughs>